Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here just about at sunup, back on the rail, looking to make some progress and see what we can get done today. Going to try making a first run uh, or a first delivery of the wood and see what we can get added to the track. One thing I did turn around and add just quick it was a quick little ad was to pull the uh, uh, basically a siding here for Betsy not that it's big deal and it will be part of a flow through track just have not finished the whole thing out yet gave us a chance to play around a little bit with the new bridge this will just kind of zoom back take a little look and we will just be parking this over here so it just kind of went you know and then it just drops down it's going to connect back over to the logging camp eventually just haven't got there yet so but it figured i wanted to kind of see about playing around with the little bridges so those can be a little finicky to get to snap in that's for sure not exactly sure why when why or how sometimes very easy to snap in sometimes total pain in the butt to get to snap in so there you go don't know results may vary everybody's experience may vary with it i've seen some people who just can't get them to snap at all seen some where it just blazes through uh no problem they all snap together so here we go. Uh, don't be a pain. Thank you. Hopefully we have wood in this one. Ready to go. Break is off. Alright. Choir man has done his job and the local was all set up and ready to go so that's kind of cool make things a little easier just still running the two car train have not ran around this uh this side of the loop the loop yet so that'll be kind of new figure out how all of this works make sure that it all works and then we can turn two trains loose at a time try to keep everything as independent uh, as possible in the layout so that we can run multiple trains doing different things alright should get us going this time a bridge spline segment that actually looks kind of cool for something new I do like that that's cool so we will be trying to use those and do some new stuff with that we'll call that the bridge of this layout and see if we can use it wherever we can whenever we can or however we can really depending on you know when and if all right the rest of that is clearing really easy train light train two lighted train we definitely need a couple more cars to throw on the back of this and we need one more flat to round that out at six and this one needs i don't know at least two more cars not that we're gonna have anything capable of pulling it up the hills anytime soon but we will definitely need some more cars 
to make this a profitable run. This is just going to be making sure that it works, getting down here and figuring out exactly how we're going to get this track to turn around so we can have um, a depot trip effectively from the sawmill early money trip that'll connect and make this easy to run. So I'll have to figure out something here by the depot to at least get it to flip around and go back. Oh, can't believe we made it. That was pretty close. Guess we didn't need to stop though. Need to maybe remove some trees. That kind of sneaks up on you. That switch there. There's somewhere in there we're gonna have to bring this whole loop back. But I'm trying not to cut down a ton of trees around the depot. I can't believe how different it looks when you don't cut back so many trees. I'm so used to having so many trees cut back that it always all looks the same. It's kind of crazy how different it looks not, actually. It probably doesn't pay bupkis. No, not even enough for two more cars or anything. So that's a bit of a bummer. But the reality of what it is. So then I guess, I don't know, if we turn around and loop this. Loop this back or try to head around. See, the thing is, if we try to sneak that in, it's going to be a big pain in the butt. So we might as well just go comfortably around the outside. Whatever, try something different here. See how well this works if we can figure it out. Never use this side because of that because of the spawn track is definitely out here and in the way. So never really end up using this side of the of the rail or the map rail just don't end up coming over here very often is the point how far is this going to go usually it doesn't go that far on a curve all right definitely want to come up a little bit i think we'll take that we'll take it why not As we come around the spawn track, decent. That's all I really care at this point. Yeah, that's what I figured. It's somewhere in here, we were gonna run into it. That should be fine. And then here we can get back to turning. Gotta try to get, I don't know, all the trees removed. I think it's better to go stick this switch in on the other side and just auto run to here. Now we know where we need to go. It's 
it's easier to go back to where we are coming from. See if we can get this in along with the run. That'll be good. Though now we can start running at night. We gotta actually have a load that's worth running at night. So we are gonna need to pick up a few more of the rolling stock. Tier 2 rolling stock, actually. Which is always good. So, I mean, that and then we can have we can start letting people other people run trains now when we're you know either trying to build or run another train see how many trains we can get moving at a time now that at least there's some rough in process going here so that'll be a thing to do Generally have offers of help, so we'll see how much we can get done as we go. See somewhere in here it tells me I probably didn't or if I broke it back here I would have broke it. But then that really means This end. Hope that there is an end there, which there is. You will go with a switch right, and this on the right. I actually get rid of some of these. Definitely need to be able to see the switch stand. That'll take care of that. And there. Bam. Hopefully this connects now back to here easy enough. Oh, it's right on the other side of the switch, so that actually works out good. Okay, there we go. <coughs> Uh oh, light's starting to fade in the trees. Come on, man. Let's see if we can get in a load and I mean well this will actually be a fairly significant uh, uh change to the track because this'll let us just keep running round trip. So now we'll be able to actually knock down loads to the depot easy, fast. Oh, forward, backwards, no switch and no anything else. And the nice thing is it won't be a super repetitive loop because this is actually kicked out here pretty good. So there we go. That'll lock that in. Nice and zip around the spawn yard. So that'll make things nice and cool. Easy to do. Two different loops so far, and the only place they actually intersect is out there at the sawmill. Otherwise, everything's on a free loop rail, so. See if we can kind of keep that going for most of the railroad, as long as we have a different loco and rolling stock for the run. Kick these back so that the switch is easy to see. And there we go, I think with that one, that's a success. At least now, 
this will just run through and back around so whatever's going to the depot then the other side of the depot i think will close off and make for a late game loop on the other side and this stuff will loop around from this side give us a chance to zip around the whole spawn yard and that'll just be a little bit of a rail yard in the middle uh, there we go so all right with that i think we're gonna call that one a win made it and say thanks for tuning in remember if you get a chance like share subscribe subscriptions are free but they sure do help the channel y'all have a great day